Oh, hi. Welcome, 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 welcome. Please come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. All right. Uh, you may take a seat, take a seat. So today we're here for your cranial nerve examination. Yeah, so it's a neurological examination to test the functionality of your cranial nerves, which come from the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain. Mm. Now, of course, I must introduce myself. So, hi, <laughs> my name is Shivi, but you may call me Quiet. Alright, and of course, please tell me your name. Lovely, perfect. Now, did you, did you find it here okay? Yeah, I know sometimes we're a little difficult to find, but um, most people get here in the end. And um, we've got we've got a new uh, reception girl on staff um, at the front desk. Did did you find everything okay with her? Okay, because she's she's on probation at the moment, so we're just taking patient feedback to see. So we'll have to see how that works. All right. So yes, your cranial nerve examination. Now, have you had one of these before? Mm -hmm. oh, well, it's very important that you do have them occasionally just because we just check the health of your face and that of course obviously all the nerves that are working because they connect everything from the brain to your neck and vice versa of course so now all right so now that I know your name just to check against the record so do um could you just let me know your full name Okay, all right, yep, yeah, that's exactly what reception told me. And could you confirm your date of birth? Perfect, thank you. All right, now that that's all out of the way, um, I, before we begin, of course, I need your consent because there will be elements where I will be touching you, touching your face, um, moving things around. Um, I will be shining a light in your eye. Be shining a light in your eye. Yes, so now is that okay with you? All right, perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so now just relax for this. Um, we're at eye level, so that's perfect because I will be just analyzing your face. So all you have to do is just listen to what I say. Um, and just relax. Most people say this is actually very enjoyable and they almost wish they could come back again. So I really hope that that is the case for you, my friend. All right. So now with the cranial nerves, there are 12 cranial nerves, 12, and there are nine uh, components to this test. So a couple of the components a um, couple of the tests um, basically assess multiple of these cranial nerves if they're all like working correctly. But now there's nothing to be worried about. Um, it's just to see what's going on with you. So most people get very, 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 very nervous, but there's absolutely no need at all. So, and we've got best technology here as well. Um, if the, any further treatment at the end is required, okay? So just relax and just really enjoy it, okay? And I just want to ask as well, are you experiencing any pain in the body anywhere? All right, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Now, I just need you to stay very, very still. I just have to look at the symmetry of your face. Mm, yes. Um, it's not because we want to change anything, um, but it just is very telling about things that are going on in the body. Um, no, no one's face is symmetrical, but I'm just looking for anything obvious that may stand out. Mm. All right. So just stay very, 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 very still. And just look at me. Look, 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 look. Mm. Alright, very good. 
Alright, so now we will examine the first cranial nerve. Alright, so the first cranial nerve that we are testing is the olfactory nerve. So I just want to ask if you have noticed any change in your sense of smell. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I'm just going to do a simple test. So I'm just going to block one of your nostrils. Yeah. All right, and I've just got some mints here. So I'm just going to open this. All right, I'm sure that tickles a bit, but it's fine. All right. And can you smell that? Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. All right. And then the other one. Sorry, I don't mean to stick my finger up your nose. All right. Mm-hmm. Got that. And can you smell that? All right. Good, 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 good. Because sometimes um, as we are aging, our sense of smell starts to change. Sometimes it starts to weaken or certain smells may be amplified. And we're heightened. Also, uh, smoking can have an effect. Are you a smoker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Now on to number. You'll notice as well that I am doing some interesting triggers and movements that I'm also assessing as well because sometimes it's easiest to do it when people aren't paying perfect attention. That's the tell. Because sometimes people focus too hard and I don't see the natural movement of their. Um, facial features and nerves. All right, now firstly, I'm just going to be looking at your pupils, 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 pupils. All right, I'm just going to have a look at the size and the dilation. Seeing how, just seeing how big they are. Hmm. Now, do, do you wear glasses or contacts? Mm -hmm. Have you had a eye test recently? I would definitely recommend that. Um, we say to do at least annually, once a year, once a year, that's all. Once, not twice, just once. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right, now we're beginning to do the visual field test. I'm just going to be analyzing the four quadrants of each eye just to check that the vision is correct in all four of them. Yeah. Okay. So firstly, um, I will be moving a finger from outside to inside. I will actually probably just move my, my hand. And once you see the tip of my nails in your peripheral vision, you're going to say now. All right. Okay. Now. Very good, very good. I'm just going to do the other one. I'm just going to go a bit closer. Mm -hmm. You're doing very, very well. You actually have really good uh, reaction times, basically. So I think um, your vision in terms of that is working very, very well. Okay. Now I'm just going to be putting up fingers on the sides of your face and basically you're going to count how many fingers altogether that I am holding up that you can see. And I'm just checking that um, you can see all the numbers, my fingers, the amount correctly. Mm -hmm. And it's just, yeah, a reaction test as well. All right. Very 
very good, very good, very good, very good. All right, now we're going to be doing some triggers with a bright light. I know some people find this a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm hoping you find it okay. Mm -hmm. So, as yeah, that's all right. Perfect, thank you. I will try and put it on um, dimmer settings so that it's not too bright for you, okay? All right, let me just switch it on. See, it's not, it's not too bright okay all right now all you have to do is just look straight ahead look almost like past me like through me um or you just pick a space on the wall behind mm -hmm. all right this one you really don't have to do anything at all anything anything i'm um, just going to be shining a light in your eye and just seeing how your pupils react there's nothing you can do or control or anything so just just relax Doing really 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 well just keep focusing either on me or that spot on the wall just gonna put my hand there All right. yep all right now I'm just gonna do your other eye all right and you have to just find that spot again Alright, very good, very good. Now we're going to do what's called the swinging light test. It's just that all I'm doing is, as it turns, I'll be swinging the light between both of your eyes um, and just to see their reaction um, if it is what I am looking for. Okay, stay very still. You're doing super, super well, okay? almost done. I know some people's eyes do start to water when we do this. All right, all done, all done. All right, I promise that there's no more with the light, okay? All right, let me just switch this one off. Perfect. All right, now we're going to be testing cranial nerves three, four, and six, and basically these just test your eye movements. Mm. So now, have you ever experienced any double vision? Mm -hmm. Any other issues with your eyesight? Okay, okay. So now this one is basically all you have to do is just follow my finger, okay? Um, and again, I'll just be testing those one, two, three, four quadrants of each eye. All right. Now, I won't be going too fast for this one. Um, so I don't want to mess your eyes up too much because I know they're probably quite sensitive um, from shining all the bright lights in it. Okay. So, all right. Now, I just... Now just just make sure you keep your head still yeah because we're just just your eyes so you can't move your head okay mm -hmm. all right let's try again very very well all right you done well all right just take a break close your eyes close your eyes close your eyes yep just relax just relax keep closing them just let them settle a little bit Mm -hmm. Sometimes it does get a little bit overwhelming doing all of these things. All right, 
and now you can lift them open. Alright, does that feel okay? Perfect. So the fifth, fifth cranial nerve um, tests the your facial facial sensation. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is touching different points on your face, but instead of doing it with my finger, I'll be doing it with a tiny, 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 little Q-tip. Mm -hmm. And because it's so tiny and delicate, that basically tests like how sensitive your face is. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, if I'm going to be doing this, you can tell what I'm doing. So, I will need you to again to close your eyes, which I'm sure you're very happy about. So, yeah. Let's close, close, close. Perfect. Alright, so what all you have to do, just keep your head very, very still. As you're doing, you're doing an excellent, excellent job. And I'm just going to be touching elements and all you have to do is say now when you feel it. And then I will simply move on to the next area, okay? Sorry, did I shock you there? <laughs> Didn't mean to, sorry about that. Alright, let's try again. Alright, very well. You did super, super good, okay? Now, did it feel the same on um, both sides of your face? Okay, good. Okay, so next we will be doing number seven, 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 which is to check the facial nerve and your facial expressions. So different movements you can do with your face, such as raising your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so just raise your eyebrows and hold. And release. Mm -hmm. All right, now close your eyes and squeeze them shut. Squeeze them shut. All right, don't let me open them. Don't let me open them. Don't let me open them. All right, great. Now I'm gonna get you to puff out your cheeks. All right, and hold them there. Hold them there. Don't let me push them in. Don't let me push them. Great. And then I just want you to purse your lips like this and hold and release. It's like a bit of a workout for the face, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, you're doing really, really well. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So now we're going to be doing number eight, eight, um, which is to do with your hearing, 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 hearing. So have you noticed any changes in your hearing recently? Alright, so now what I'm going to be doing is covering one ear and then whispering in the other one. Um, I'll be either saying a word or a number and you just have to tell me what you hear, okay? Alright, as usual, just stay very still like you're doing. Alright, let me go that one. Fifty-five, great. Yep. Buttercup. 
Yeah, you're doing really well. So. And just two more, two more, two more. Perfect, 21. And last one. That one is a little harder. Um, it was quiet. Quiet. You're doing very, very well, okay? Alright, now we're just going to be doing uh, cranial nerves number 9 and 10, 10 being the vagus nerve, vagus nerve, okay? So firstly, just stick out your tongue, and all you need to do is say, ah, 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 like that. Okay, very good. Now I'm just going to give you um, some water, but before that, I just need you to do a little cough. So go, <laughs> and you're good. All right, now I'm just going to give you some water. So we just we'll take a sip. And swallow but I just want you to hold 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 it for just a little bit a couple seconds all right all right here you go have a sip hold 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 swallow all right I'm just looking at um your neck and your swallowing pattern there I'm just gonna have a sip myself with that's all right doing so well. We're almost at the end. Remember, there are 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 cranial nerves, okay? So, always there. Alright, so number 11 is the accessory nerve. I'm just going to be testing your um, head and sort of basically your power in it. So again, this is one of those exercises um, where you will need to resist the pressure that I'm placing on your face. All right, I'm just going to hold your face. All right, and I'm going to attempt to turn it uh, this way. And you're going to resist. All right, three, two, one, and resist, 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 resist. Very good, very good, very good. All right, now we're just going to do um, in this direction. So, all right, and three, two, one, and resist, 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 resist. You're doing so, 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 so well. And I can feel, I think you're a bit more comfortable now as well. Yeah, most people do find it quite, like, relaxing. Um, they do, they do like it. Sort of the personal tension that just naturally comes with this type of neurological examination, 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 examination. All right, and almost sadly, we are near the end. We are on to number 12. You've done really, 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 really well. I see um too many issues or anything that you'll need to worry about um but let's do the 12th one first before i get too ahead of myself all right so the 12th cranial nerve is the hypoglossal nerve and this is another one that uh, involves your tongue so all right just stick it out stick it out yep uh and just relax, relax your jaw a little bit. All right, you can close your mouth now. The swallow. All right, and now we're gonna do it one more time. One more time. So stick your tongue out. You have a All right, and close. Swallow. Yep. You're doing very, very well. Okay. I know I keep saying that, but you really are. All right, and now we're going to do another little exercise with your tongue. And this is the final one, okay? So I'm just going to put my finger um, just on your cheek. What you're going to do with your 
tongue is just is press against it, okay? And you do it on both sides. All right, so we'll do this side first. All right, and pick tongue out, press, 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 and release. We'll do the other side. All right, all right, and just press against my finger. All right, and just do this one again. Just need to check something, and. Sometimes there's a couple abnormalities, but um, yeah, no, you, you seem fine. It is it's a bit of a weird sensation, 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 definitely. Um, we shall email you your report from your cranial nerve examination today. Um, did you give your email address um, to our front desk girl? Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Um, we will let you know if you do need any further testing, such as an MRI or a CT scan. Um, but just based on my assessment today, I think everyone got thing has gone super, super well, okay? Alright, did you have any questions about anything? Okay. Alright, now you take care of yourself, okay?